Today, if you're still wandering, if you're still searching for truth or purpose in this life, then you need to know that you can belong to God. You can experience this great love. The love of His Son is a powerful love. You just bow your heads with me. I just want to say a few more things and then pray. If that's you, if you're still searching for truth, if you're still searching within yourself to decide what you believe, if you're still trying to figure that stuff out, I want you to know that whatever the world's told you about yourself, it's wrong. Whatever painful or hurtful words that have been driven into you by someone else, maybe even someone that should have loved you, whatever they said, it's wrong. It's not what God has to say. God believes one thing about you. He thinks you're special. He thinks you're beautiful. He thinks you are worth loving. And therefore, you are lovely in his eyes. That's what God thinks. And there's only one person in this world who can love you in a perfect way, and that's God himself. The words he speaks to you are words of life. They're wholesome, encouraging, and hope-filled. And they're true. You're special. You're loved. And he's calling out to you. So the question is, will you respond? Will you answer him? And my question for you is, if he's doing this work in your heart, if he's calling you, if he's drawing you to himself, are you going to answer him? Are you going to respond if that's you this morning, I'm going to ask you just to do something. Everybody's eyes are closed, and I'm not going to embarrass you or ask you to come up or anything. I just want to know if that's you, I want to be able to pray for you. And I want maybe later on, if I see you in the street, if I see you somewhere, I want to be able to say, hey, how's that going? You're trying to make that decision in your life. You see, that decision is a very deep decision of the heart. It's not something that I can manipulate you here today to make a decision to believe. It's something that you've got to determine in your heart. Hey, I believe. I believe. I want that love. I want that relationship with God. It's missing from my life. I want that. It's true in my heart, the depth of my soul. That's a deep decision you need to make. And if that's you, I just want to know if you're, you're in the process of making that decision so I can pray and encourage you. So if that's you, I'm going to ask you to just raise your hand while everyone else's eyes are closed. I just want to know so I can pray. If you're going through that in your life, thanks. Appreciate it. Anybody else? I want me to pray for you because you're reaching out. I appreciate that. Thanks. I'm just going to pray for you, man. <laughs> Both of you that raised your hand. You don't know who each other are. No one else knows who you are. But I'm going to pray real quick for you. Lord, I pray that you'd make your love and purpose real to these people. Lord, I pray that as they make that deep decision in their heart, that it would affect the way they live and the way their actions are. Lord, I pray that as you draw them closer to you, they'd make some decisions of courage to do some things that'll, that'll kind of change the course of their life. Because, Lord, I know that at the same time, you're, you're going to be at work in their life doing beautiful things. So, Lord, I pray for you to help them come to that complete, deep decision of faith to believe in you and follow you. And I entrust them to you, and I pray that I would maybe have some opportunities to encourage these people. Thank you. If you're here and you already know Christ, then you need to be reminded today of the truth and power of the cross. You belong to Him now. And nothing can ever separate you from that love. I don't care what the world tells you. If you've made a decision of faith to follow Christ, I don't care if there is sin that is, that is, that is dogging you, that's dragging you down week after week. I want you to know that Jesus died for that sin and he conquered it and he has victory over it. And you can still live in freedom and forgiveness every day and allow him to bring healing to your life in that area. But you'll have to do some things. You'll need to find someone you trust, and someone you love, and confess that sin to that person and let God work a work of healing. If you feel unworthy or if you feel like you have nothing to offer to God, if you, if you feel like you don't just 
have what it takes or the talent that you need to serve him, I want you to know that's a lie. And God wants to use you right where you're at. He's laying out life in front of you. He just wants you to keep your eyes open. He'll give you the opportunities, and he's going to appreciate and love everything you do for him. If, if you're here today, and you already know Christ, you need to be reminded of the truth and power of the cross and of the resurrection. And you need to remember that you belong to him. And nothing can ever separate you from his love. Lord, I thank you for what you're doing in our hearts today. I thank you for this day. I thank you for all the friends that we have here, the way that we can... Uh, Celebrate today with friends and family. God bless this day. Let me good. Let me good. But I thank you that we were able to start this day by honoring you and glorifying you and thanking you for all that the resurrection means to us today. Thank you. Thank you. Amen. Amen. Uh, a little bit dark in here, but you can still see me. Here we go. Look at that. Wow. See, when you, when, you, uh, when you decide to become a pastor, then things like that happen. You say something. <laughs> it's like this special God. You know, I'm just like you guys. Uh, I want to thank you for coming today. It's just been a blessing to be with you. And, uh, you know, uh, you all have a lot to be thankful for. Sometimes we forget. Uh, first, thank God. Then thank the people around you that have been meaningful in your lives. And, you know, he's just so good. So good. And we, we're blessed in this church that we've been able to have this wonderful time here. And we've got some wonderful people that are working out there with the kids. When you leave today, thank them. Thank them. Or if there's someone here that usually works with the kids, I'm seeing Vicki over here. Like, thank them. Because they, they're just awesome. And God has just used so many people in this church. I want to thank you all for coming. I ask you to stand up if you would. As you leave today, you know, we're not going to move any chairs for a few minutes. Give a few people a, a hug and a handshake and tell them you're glad they're here. And you guys have a great week. I appreciate y'all and we'll see you both of you next week. Have a great day. Thank you. Thank you.